to me that, uh, you know, the government was working with social media to amplify lies and suppress truth and has been doing so repeatedly. Why couldn't the American people know that, you know, there were other alternatives to treat COVID? Why, why can't the American people know that there were side effects with the vaccine? This is all pre-planned by an elite group of people. That's what I'm talking about. Event 201 that occurred in late 2019, prior to the rest of us knowing about this pandemic. Again, yeah. you know, th this is very concerning in terms of what has happened, what is happening, uh, what continues to be planned for our loss of freedom. Um, mm -hmm. Again, it needs to be exposed, but unfortunately there, there are very few people, even in Congress, that are willing to take a look at this. Uh, they, they all push the vaccine. Uh, they don't want to you know, be, be made aware of the fact that the vaccines might have caused injuries, might have caused death. Uh, you know, so, so many people just simply don't want to admit they were wrong and they're going to do everything right. they can to make sure that they're not proven wrong. We're, well, we're up against people, a very powerful yeah. group of people here, Maria. But you know, fortunately, you say, what can we do? Well, you know, we do have reporters like yourself, like John Solomon, other people that have the, the courage to report the truth against the mainstream media and against the narrative. But that's the only way this is going to be solved is we need the truth to be exposed. We need more Americans to listen to the truth, to be exposed to the truth, to pull their heads out of the sand, quite honestly, open up their eyes and understand what has happened in this country. We are going down a very dangerous path, but as a path is being laid out and planned by an elite group of people that want to take total control over our lives. And that's what they're doing bit by bit. They do it by increasing ma you know, massive government spending, increasing the size of government, uh, take over of the WHO. These amendments that are coming up uh, that are going to be voted on in 2024 on the WHO are frightening, and they, they really risk taking away all of our sovereignty. Uh, people have to wake up, awaken to the dangers of the moment. I mean, it's, it's just extraordinary to me that, uh, you know, the government was working with social media to amplify lies and suppress truth and has been doing so repeatedly. Why couldn't the American people know that, you know, there were other alternatives to treat COVID? Why, why can't the American people know that there were side effects?